closest friends died on a sunny afternoon this time two years ago. The world was at its best in all its glory, and beauty was flexing her muscles. Maybe that's what scares me most. That a person could take their life even when the world was showing the rare petals of its kindness. Maybe that's why the warmth of the sun on my shoulders sets me careful in my step. Makes me remember to keep my eyes on my wrists, just in case they decide to split in vertical lines like his did. He was gone before I could say goodbye. The touch of a razor did not wait until dusk, I am told. That his, that le the light behind his eyes faded out as his irises turned to the window, letting dust-filled sun rays into his room, which settled in abstract shadows across his body. Spring days bring me back to imagining what I was doing as he faded. Running my hands through lilacs, or lying with my back cradled by grass leaves while I watching my toes run ridges in sand, or letting my mind wander through the leaves of trees as I walk through the park near my house. If I had been bored that day, would I have texted him? Or visited his house like I did every night when I couldn't sleep? When I couldn't sleep, would I have sprinted to his house and held him together like stitches? cradled him in the cavity between my shoulders with all the other best parts of me, letting him cry into my t-shirt, not caring about the wet stain. I would have picked him up and taken him to the garden I helped him dig, pointed to every plant and spider fighting for survival, make him trace my fingerprints until he forgets to listen to the suicide carving her name into his skull. I would have picked him rosemary placed a sprig behind his ear, I would have helped him place all of his hurt in the damp earth and watched as it grew into something beautiful, blossoming like he did. His death is a reminder that even days full of cherry blossom snow rising on warm wind and flowers and crowns on our heads will not suddenly force me into happiness. That even nights full of warm air and unbroken dreams will not banish all thoughts of death that manifest themselves in the folds of my brain tissue. He is gone. I've forgotten the sound of his voice. He is gone. I've forgotten the curve of his nose. He is gone. I've forgotten how his breath felt against my cheek when I pressed my head into his chest. He is gone. I've forgotten the beat of his heart. He is gone. And yet the sun still dares to shine on my skin. <laughs>